First heading into the barn is Chris Marshall from Dorset, with a family heirloom for the attention of Hatter, Jesh Vagela. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Chris, what have we got in the bag? I have here my father's wartime Royal Australian Air Force cap. What was your dad's role in the Air Force? In the Lancasters, he did 27 operations over Germany, but he did 11 prior to that on another aircraft. So he'd done 38 like, operations, yeah. and he made it through? Didn't he it? did make it through, yeah. He's one of the lucky ones, man. He was very lucky indeed. Late 41, he yeah. met my mother. OK. They were married in 1942, and I came along literally nine months later. So once the war was over, did he come and settle down with you and your mum? What, what no, happened? no, no. A victory in Europe happened, and he was transferred back to Australia in 1945 to fight the Japanese. But he did correspond with me um, with, through letters, airmail letters. It was a very, very stilted relationship, but yeah. it, was, it was warm. He was a very gentle man, unassuming, modest. He was a good guy. Yeah. I liked him a lot. Thank you for bringing this hat in. Jash is going to work his magic on it. I'm sure he will. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right? You take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye Looking at the cab and the wear and tear, it really speaks um, of the, its, its journey in World War II. The cab has lost its shape considerably and the lining has already come away, so I'm going to strengthen the whole structure and then the badges come away from the cap and uh, the metal and the embroidery with the metal spring has tarnished also. I'm going to take the badge off before I start cleaning the hat. On the badge, I'm using all natural cleaning solution. Whilst I was growing up, every time there was a tarnished copper or any sort of brass, lead, metal to be cleaned, my mother always sort of used um, lemon juice. As Chris is going to pass this on to his grandson, I want to make this cap look good as, um, as it can be, so it can inspire the future generations. Hello. How are you doing, Chris? Hi, nice yeah. to see you again. Likewise, you all right? Yeah, full of anticipation. What's the dream? I just, well, I'll let you know when I see it. <laughs> Get a seal of approval, yeah? Oh, absolutely. All right. Let's see what Josh has done then. Yeah. Crikey. Good job. Very good job. Can I? Please. Wow, look at that. That interior is immaculate. And you've done it exactly what I wanted, really. That's going to sit on my sideboard next to my dad's picture. His medals. Deserves that. Wow. Hey, our father. Do we get the seal of approval then? That's the main thing. Does Absolutely, hundred yeah? percent. Okay. I couldn't fault that. You would never have imagined I'd have done this, or you would have done it for me. <laughs> <laughs> it serves to appreciate all the other members of air crew who both survived and lost their lives during World War Two. Yeah. Thank you. It's a it's an honour, truly, and I'm so happy Robert's legacy will carry on. Through yeah. this cap. Mm -hmm. Chris, thank you for bringing it in. Thank you very much. All right. Thank Take you. Care. All the very best. So thank you. Bye bye. Take care now. Bye bye. It's oh, nice. <laughs> it's definitely made up, isn't it? And you've it's got a seal of approval. Well done, you. <laughs> <laughs> when I look at the hat now, I can imagine him wearing it, probably at an angle, slightly cocked angle. And I now feel that is it in a fine state to be passed on to my family and be cherished and maintained and hopefully passed on further to further generations. <laughs>